Are you trying to set up your Arduino IDE to use an ESP8266, but you keep getting this error downloading message? This can be pretty frustrating because after all, you just wanna get started programming. In this lesson, we will show you how to fix this error so that you can get up and running with your ESP8266. Stay tuned. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more videos like this. If you're interested in learning more about using the ESP8266, check out Programming Electronics Academy. We have two courses on using the ESP8266, one for data logging with ThingSpeak and another for building a wireless meat thermometer. Members get access to these and all the other courses that we currently offer. All right, so here's the deal. The Arduino IDE is pretty awesome in many respects. Not only can you use it to program and load code onto Arduino boards, but you can also use it to program and load code on completely different boards and processors, like the wildly popular ESP8266 or the ESP32. Now, in order for the Arduino IDE to be able to work with these other boards, it needs what is called a core. Cores are necessary to make new microcontrollers compatible with your Arduino software. The Arduino development team builds cords for its own boards, but anyone can develop a cord for their own boards. And that is what the ESP8266 community has generously done. They've developed and currently maintain a core for boards that use the ESP8266. This means you can set up your Arduino IDE to recognize and load code onto any boards that use an ESP8266. All you have to do is tell the Arduino IDE where to go to get the core and then use the boards manager tool to download that core. The way you tell it is by pasting a URL into the Arduino IDE preferences, additional boards manager space. And the URL you paste in is this right here. Now this comes right from the ESP8266 GitHub page. This is the URL they tell you to use. Then you go to Tools, Board, Board Manager, and wait, you get an error? What's up? Error downloading, Arduino, ESP8266, stable package, ESP8, com, index, JSON, what gives? Hey, so what's going on? Well, basically, this is what's happened. The Arduino IDE went to this URL to download the core, and when it got there, it couldn't download the core. Why not? Well, it could be that the ESP8266 website is currently down. Like, sometimes that just happens. Websites go down from time to time. But geez, I mean, you were hoping to build your Wi-Fi cat feeder this afternoon. So you don't want to wait around until the ESP8266 website's back up. That's just a no-go. So here's what you can do. Instead, go back to the Arduino preferences and use this URL. Or, better yet, go to this web page on GitHub. This is going to list all of the versions available. The top one is going to be the current version. Find whatever that version number is and replace it with the 2.7.4. Then hit OK, close the IDE, and restart it. Now, when you go to Tools, Board Manager, you shouldn't get that error and you'll be able to search for and install the ESP8266 core. You'll be able to see the different ESP8266 boards, and you'll be on your way to building your IoT cat feeder. All right, so what's the difference between these two URLs? Well, one is pointing to the ESP8266 website, and the other is pointing to GitHub. The first one will always have the most current stable version of the core. The second one points to a specific version of the core. Like I mentioned, sometimes the ESP8266 website can be down, which is why that first URL may not have worked for you. Now, in my opinion, it makes sense that after you've downloaded the core, you should probably go back to your preferences and update the additional board manager URL to that first URL. This way, at a later date, if you ever want to update the core, when you go to the boards manager, it's going to have the most current version available for you. 
Well, hey, I hope that solved your problem and I hope it was helpful. Like I said, if you want to learn more about programming things like the ESP8266 and Arduino, check out the Programming Electronics Academy membership program. Have a great one and take it easy. Bye.